don't you think? I love how shitty everything looks. <laughs> I love how shitty it all looks. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Oh, did you take a picture? I, I didn't see you. <laughs> they don't pick it up, pick anything up. We're also in the darkest section we could possibly be in if we backed up a little bit or over here. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Oh, you can't see me at all. Are you gonna come sit by me? Mm -hmm. You can't see us at all. We're out doing a photo shoot in the middle of the night. <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to see. I can't. You literally can't see anything but our silhouettes. Is that a fucking branch? I don't know. It's what some breeze. I think it's somebody fucking around in the yard. Oh. I don't know how you're not cold. No jacket. No sweater. No I'm long sleeves. I'm a furnace, baby. I'm always burning up. I know. Weirdo. I'm literally a heater. I wish it was later so we could go down the alleyways and there wasn't so much traffic like there was that one night. Mm -hmm. Like it was just dead outside like it was that one night. Oh. Well, I'm for, yeah, I'm there. And on my back too. Unfortunately, what? Uh, it's Saturday night, so there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of cars, I think, out late. I think this would be a good lighting place. Mm hmm. Yeah. You want to try it? Sure. I can shut off the. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Do I look scary? Do we look scary? A little bit. Just a, just a little bit. I usually feel like confident and pretty with makeup on, but I do not right now. And it's kind of devastating. You know? He doesn't even know that I'm talking to him. He's looking for a shirt. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> I said I usually feel confident and pretty with makeup on, but I do not right are you, now. Are you recording? Yes. Why? What were you going to say? Something perverted? Yeah. Baby. I do not feel confident and pretty. Well, you should. Well, well I don't. You really, really should. Well, I don't. <clears throat> you should feel confident and pretty. Why? Because you look confident and pretty. So do you. I, I look confident? This is a face of confidence to you? Yes. I mean, I guess to go in public Maybe. looking like I do, you have to be semi-confident. I promise you, you're like the hottest fucking woman ever. What's the, what's the, what's the thing when it's like, the, su the such and such determined that that was a lie? The lie detector determined that that was a lie? Sir? I just filmed for like 10 minutes and now I have to refilm everything because I fucking looked in the camera while I was talking and there was like black shit on my teeth. Oh my God. So for anybody that follows me on Instagram, yes, I am still wearing the same shirt that I put on before Epps and I went on a walk last night. It was a mistake. 
I put it on because I was wearing my like long black jacket with the purple fur around the, the collar and the sleeves because I thought I'm going to go outside. I'm going to get to walking around. I'm going to start burning the fuck up. No, it was freezing. It was freezing. And that jacket is not very thick, very cute, but not very warm. And it's always really funny to me because every time that I wear this shirt, people are like, oh my God, you're wearing white. Oh my God, you're wearing white because you can't tell in pictures and videos what it looks like. Anyways, I just filmed myself talking for a very long time and realized I had black shit in my teeth and was like, well, now I have to restart. So a couple things, couple updates on the Dollar Tree skincare. Um, my makeup went on just fine over top of it. Uh, it did not break me out. My face is a little puffy, but I swear to, it's mostly around my eyes. I swear to you, it's because I'm dehydrated. I realized really late last night that I had not drank any water or any Gatorade yesterday. And so today I kind of started working on a Gatorade a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. I actually accidentally zonked out because I took a little bit of ibuprofen and laid down because that's went to the gym. The kids are still at Dee's grandma's. I took some ibuprofen and I laid down. I'm like, I'm just going to let this kick in and then I'm going to get up and then I'm going to wash my face and I'm going to film. I fucking ended up falling asleep for an undisclosed amount of time. I have no idea. I haven't checked my Fitbit. I, I have no idea how long I was asleep. None. But I do know that I woke up with with puffy eyes. Those dehydrated, puffy fucking eyes. Sorry, Epps just came in the room and brought me a crunch wrap. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't even remember. You know what? If I miss an upload this week, it will be because my ass is going into the dentist. I am a little nervous because I... Sorry, I just rubbed the shit out of my nose. I just rubbed the shit out of my nose. Um... I have to go into the dentist this week because my tooth is a little sore, but guys, when you were younger, and maybe you still currently do, did you have dreams all the time that your teeth were falling out? When I was in high school, I would have dreams all the time constantly that my teeth were falling out. Well, this morning while I was in my accidental sleep, like when I was napping accidentally, I had a dream that my teeth were falling out. And me, outside of, you know, what I'm about to tell you, would have thought, oh my god, I'm dreaming this because I subconsciously believe that people are less, I'm less appealing to people. I think that I was dreaming that my teeth were falling out because I had a tooth fall out yesterday. While I was filming the Dollar Tree makeup video, I ate my Kit Kat and my wisdom tooth fell right out of my head. Um... To be fair, it is a tooth that should have came out years ago, but my dentist like refused to pull it and was like, kept putting fillings in it. The fillings would like chip away with time and he'd put more in it and be like, I think we can get a few more years out of it. The filling fell out probably like a year ago. So it's in my, it was in my head all like jagged and she, like just holes all through it. It's dead. It's dead tooth, obviously. Just jagged, just hanging on by a thread. And yesterday, it just fell out. Half of it's still in there. I can see it. Um, but it's below my gums. So I've got this tooth that's doing its thing that I broke whenever I bit into a burnt piece of bread, like a, like a sub roll. And this tooth that literally just fucking fell out. Just bit into a Kit Kat, which is very soft. And it fell out. And I just started cackling. Should have taken it out a long time ago. Should have taken it out a long time ago. Refused. Whatever. I didn't refuse. My dentist refused. Whatever. The bitch fell out. Um, I'm a little worried. And I'm dealing with my worry with sarcasm. Because what happened last week whenever I tried to go to the dentist. Um, I'm worried because I don't know how I'm going to go. Because somebody has to be here with the kids to get them on the bus. So Epps can't drive me. So that means I'm going to have to drive myself. And I am scared to death to drive myself. Like yesterday, Epps and I were going to go to a pumpkin patch. That's not that far from our house. Um, but my anxiety about riding in the Jeep made it so that we went to one a little bit closer. They were a little bit ex more expensive. I think we paid $6 per pumpkin instead of like 4 Um 
super nice though. Like you can see the footage at the beginning of the video, super nice. Uh, the one we were gonna go to was like, it just had pumpkins lined up in a field and you could go and pick one out and pay them. Um, or you could pay like six bucks and go into like a maze and like there's like pic places where you can take pictures and stuff like that. We were just gonna go and pick up a couple pumpkins, but we found a place closer. Uh, I'm so nervous about driving that Jeep and nothing's happened since, but I'm terrified, but I cannot hold off going to the dentist any longer. I'm just trying, I might have to reach out for help. I might have to ask um, E's dad for help or something with getting them to school so that Epps can drive me or ask for somebody to give me a ride. I don't know, but I just know that I have two teeth, like this tooth hurts and this tooth broke. It's time. It's time. Guys, I've made it to 35, which is five years longer than everybody else in my family and still have teeth somehow. <laughs> I'm surprised I've made it this far. My mom lost all of her teeth by 30. I actually remember going with her to the dentist when she got them all taken out because she had some kind of gum disease that caused her um, gums like the, the her gum line to recede and all of her nerves were exposed. So did my aunt have that, my grandma have that, everybody had that by the age of 30. I think the longest any of my um, older family members have hung onto their teeth because of that disease was like 32. But I don't smoke and my sister doesn't have it either and she doesn't smoke or anything like they did. So I don't know if that's what it is. It's my back teeth, my molars, and my wisdom teeth and shit that give me the most hell. And I've, I've got to go get it looking at, looking at, looked at. You know what's really funny is I, my two furthest back wisdom teeth never fully grew in. They did the thing where they came up and down and up and down and up and down for years. And, and, and they never, they never really came in. They were slowly chipping away, going in and out and in and out and in and out. And then... My daughter, my dentist is always like, a dentist is a doctor, but my dentist is always like, you need those surgically removed. We need to send you somewhere so you can be put under and they can take that shit out of your jaw. And um, he'll call around to like all the different medical schools and shit. And they'll he'll try to get me on a waiting list and they'll call me and be like, yeah, the waiting list is like a year long. So we're not going to put you on it. Okay, bitch, a year is going to fucking pass one way or another. He's been trying to get me on this damn waiting list for like six years. Um, that time's going to pass no matter what. So why don't you just squeak me, squeak my little ass in there. But now this tooth just looks like the rest. There's both sides. My, my furthest back wisdom teeth are like that. And then now the one beside it is because my dentist absolutely refused to rip it out while it was a full tooth. And just kept putting fillings in it. It would get a cavity, put a filling in it. Get a cavity, put a filling in it. And it broke off. And I just fucking cackle. Anyways, I am nervous. I do have to go to the dentist this week. I just don't know how it's going to happen. I just sincerely don't know how it's going to happen. I need to eat this food before it gets gross. And I have no idea how long this video is. Here's me doing my makeup yesterday. If you care to watch it, I beat the shit out of my face. I did. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. Bye. If I miss an upload this week, it's because my ass is... I went to the dentist. Bye.